Hey guys, Phil here. Today we're going to take a look at installing Grafana and InfluxDB with Docker for a Synology NAS. Okay, so I'm logged in with the root username. If you're on DSM6, you just log in with admin and prefix with whatever I'm about to put in with sudo. Okay, so we need to create a new container for Synology. Okay, so we're going to use the command line just so we can set some flags for the docker to automatically restart. I'll have all the commands in the blog post and there's also the commands in the GitHub repo if you need them. Alright, so let's start off first with the usual docker run. We are then going to run it in detached mode and we want to give it a name. Just to keep things simple, I'm going to just call it Grafana for now. We now need to expose some ports, so let's do that. So the first ports we've mapped here, 3003 will be what Grafana is running on. 8083 is what InfluxDB's uh, web UI is running on. We've mapped that here to port 3004. And port 8086 is where InfluxDB connections will be accepted on. The Docker image I've also got includes an SSH server, so we can open that up if we ever need to um, with the following board. So just so we don't conflict with the host's SSH, we can just open it up on 22022. Now the next thing we need to do is mount some volumes for persistence. So if we ever need to destroy this container, we can still keep our InfluxDB intact as well as any Grafana settings that have been put in place. So first of all, let's map a config directory for Grafana. So I've mapped the volume here to volume one docker Grafana. You can place it anywhere you like on your Synology. If you need access to it, you might want to put it into a shared folder so you can get access to it from a network. The var lib Grafana is what's set in the docker, so we need to keep that. And next we'll put a volume in for InfluxDB. Okay, now that we've got the volume set up, we can pass in any other options we want to set up. So one of the things I want to do is give it the restart flag. So if the container ever dies or the Synology needs to reboot, as soon as Docker comes back online, the, this container will automatically boot up as well. And finally, we just need to tell Docker which image we're going to use. So we're going to use one I've put on Docker Hub. And now we're just going to run that. And as I've already got those images locally, it's booting up straight away. So our next step is to set up InfluxDB. Okay, so now we're on the InfluxDB admin panel, which I'm just accessing on the port 3004, which we set up in our docker run command before. So as you can see here, no databases have been installed with InfluxDB. So the first thing we need to do is actually create a database. So from here, we're just gonna select the template, create database, and I'm gonna use this with Home Assistant. So I'm gonna actually name my database Home Assistant. And there we go, it's just created that database. And if I click here, you can see Home Assistant is installed here. The next thing we wanna do is go to Grafana. All right, and this is the login screen for Grafana. As we can see here, we're on port 3003 now. And that's it, everything's running. So now I'm going to set up Grafana with Home Assistant. If you wanna check out that, I'll link the video to that in the description. Otherwise, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Cheers.